this this is uh, going to be a project where I have the prayer of St. Patrick for how he dealt with paganism and it is a beautiful prayer and a powerful prayer it was popularly known as St. Patrick's breastplate and it, he composed it in preparation for his victory over paganism uh, he memorized this prayer and continually recited it as he moved through Ireland and when he confronted Druid priests he would recite what he called his breastplate this was his defense against the Druid priests that were out to kill him so the story goes that many of the priests that were attempting to kill him as they approached St. Patrick they would fall dead or burst into flames Irish kings and people in Ireland witnessed this which resulted in their mass conversion from paganism to Christianity this is similar to Elijah confronting the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel here is a literal translation of St. Patrick's breastplate from the old Irish text I bind to myself today the strong virtue of the invocation of the Trinity. I believe the Trinity in unity, the creator of the universe. I bind to myself today the virtue of the incarnation of Christ with his baptism, the virtue of his crucifixion with his burial the virtue of his resurrection with his ascension the virtue of his coming on the judgment day I bind to myself today the virtue of the love of seraphim in the obedience of angels in the hope of resurrection unto reward in prayers of patriarchs in predictions of prophets in preaching of apostles, in faith of confessors, in purity of holy virgins, in deeds of righteous men. I bind to myself today God's power to guide me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to teach me, God's eye to watch over me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to give me speech, God's hand to guide me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to shelter me, God's host to secure me against the snares of demons, against the seduction of vices, against the lusts of nature, against everyone who meditates injury to me, whether far or near, whether few or with many, I invoke today all these virtues against every hostile, merciless power which may assail my body and my soul, against the incantations of false prophets against the black laws of heathenism, against the false laws of heresy, against the deceits of idolatry, against the spells of women and smiths and druids, against every knowledge that binds the soul of man. Christ, protect me today against every poison, against burning, against drowning, against death wound, that I may receive abundant reward. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ within me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, 
Christ at my right, Christ at my left, Christ in the fort, Christ in the chariot seat, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks to me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. I bind to myself today the strong virtue of an invocation of the Trinity. I believe the Trinity in the unity, the creator of the universe. And now I would like to speak these faith confessions by Charles Capps. I got them from HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.healingandprosperity.com forward slash prosperity confessions by Charles Capps. I make these scriptural confessions and faith comes. We are filled with the knowledge of your will, Father God, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Your will is our prosperity. According to Colossians 1.19, For it has pleased you, Father God, that all the divine fullness, the sum total of the divine perfection, powers, and attributes should dwell in Christ permanently. Father God, you delight in my prosperity. You give me power to get wealth, that you may establish your covenant upon this earth. According to Deuteronomy 8, 18, I thank you, Father God. I earnestly remember you, my God, for it is you, Father God, who gives me the power to get wealth, that you may establish your covenant which you swore to my, our fathers as it is this day. And according to Deuteronomy eleven twelve, a land which, Father God, you care for. Your eyes, Lord, are always upon my land from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I thank you, Father God, that I respond in faith to the guidance of your Holy Spirit within me. I am always in the right place at the right time because my steps are ordered of you, Lord. According to Psalm 37, verse 23, the steps of a good person, and I am, a good person, my steps are directed and established by you, Father God, because I delight in your way and I busy myself with your every step. And you delight in my way and you busy yourself with my every step. Father God, you have given me all things that pertain to life and godliness, and I am well able to possess all that you have provided for me, according to Numbers 13.30. I am like Caleb when he quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it. We are well able to conquer it. And according to Second Peter Chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. For your divine power, Father God, has bestowed upon me all things that are suited to life and godliness through and my personal knowledge of you, Father God, who called me and to your own glory and excellence and virtue. By means of these you have bestowed upon me your precious and exceedingly great promises so that through your promises we, I, escape by flight from moral decay, rottenness, and corruption 
that is in this world because of covetousness, lust, and greed, and I am a sharer and a partaker in your divine nature. Father God, you are unfailing, unlimited source of my supply. My financial income now increases as your blessings, O oh Lord, overtake me. According to Deuteronomy 28, verse 2, all these blessings come upon me and overtake me because I heed the voice of of the Lord my God. As I give, it is given to me good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, according to Luke 6 38. I give, and gifts are given to me good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Are they pouring from the pouch formed? by the bosom of the robe as a bag for the measure that I deal with is the measure that I confer and benefits on others it is measured back to me I honor you Father God with my substance and with the first fruits of my increase and my barns are filled with plenty and my presses burst forth with new wine according to Proverbs 3, 9, and 10. I honor you, Lord, with my capital and my sufficiency from righteous labors and with the first fruits of all my income. And so my storage places are filled with plenty and my vats are overflowing with new wine. I am like a tree planted by rivers of water, I bring forth fruit in my season. My leaf shall not wither, and whatever I do prospers. Your grace, Father God, even makes my mistakes to prosper. According to Psalm 1, verse 3, you, I am like a tree firmly planted and tended by the streams of water. I am ready to bring forth my fruit in my season, my leaf also does not fade or wither, and everything I do prospers and comes to maturity. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the field. I am blessed coming in. I am blessed going out. I am blessed in my basket. I am blessed in my store. I am blessed in my bank account investments in my health and godly relationships flourish your blessings father god overtake me in all areas of my life according to deuteronomy 28 verses 1 through 14 because i listen diligently to your voice father god and i am watchful to do all of your words that you have given me in your word. And I thank you, Father God, that you set me high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings come upon me and overtake me because I take heed to your voice, O Lord my God. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the field. I am blessed in the fruit of my body and the fruit of my ground and the fruit of my beasts, the increase of my cattle and the young of my flock. My basket is blessed and my kneading trough is blessed. I am blessed when I come in and I am blessed when I go out. I thank you, Father God, that you cause my enemies who rise up against me to be defeated right before my face. They come against me one way, but they flee seven ways. And you, Father God, command blessings upon me in my storehouse, in all that I undertake. You bless me in the land that you have given me. You bless me and establish me as your people, holy unto yourself. 
And I thank you, Father God, that I keep your word and I walk in all of your ways. And all the people of the earth see that I am called by your name. I am in your presence, Lord. And they do fear me. And you make me to have a surplus of prosperity through the fruit of my body, of my livestock, of my ground, in the land which you have given to me. You open up your good treasury, Father. You open heavens to give the rain upon my land in its season. And you bless all the work of my hands. I lend to many nations, but I do not need to borrow. You sh make me the head and not the tail. You make me above only and not beneath. I thank you, Father God, that I take heed to your word that you have given me, and I am watchful to be a doer of your word. I do not turn aside from your word that you have commanded me to the right hand or to the left, but I do not go after other gods, and I do not serve them. Your blessing, O oh Father God, makes me truly rich, and you add no sorrow with it, and neither does toiling increase it, according to Proverbs 10, 22. Your blessing, Lord, makes me truly rich, and you add no sorrow with it, and neither does toiling increase it. I delight myself in you, Lord, and you give me the desires of my heart according to Psalm 37, verse 4. I delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desire and secret petitions of your heart. Father God, you make all grace abound toward me and every favor and earthly blessing, so that I have all sufficiency for all things, and I abound to every good work according to 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. And you make all grace and every favor and earthly blessing come to me in abundance, so that I am always and under all circumstances, whatever the need be, as self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support, I am furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. Father God, you open to me your good treasure, and you bless the work of my hands. I thank you, Father God, you have commanded blessings upon me in my storehouse, houses, and all that I undertake to do. According to Deuteronomy 8, or 28, verses 8 through 12, you command blessings upon me in my storehouses and in all that I undertake to do. You bless me in the land that you, Father God, have given me. You establish me as holy unto yourself. You have sworn to me because I keep your word, Father God, that, and walk in your ways. And all the people of the earth see that I am called by your name. In, in your presence. And Father God, you make me to have a surplus of prosperity through the fruit of my body, of my livestock, of my ground, in the land which you have sworn to give to me. You open to me your good treasury, the heavens to give the rain of my land in its season, and to bless all the work of my hands. I lend to many nations, but I shall not borrow. O oh, Father God, you rebuke the devourer for my sake, and no weapon that is formed against me or my finances or my family shall prosper. And all obstacles and hindrances to my financial prosperity are now dissolved. According to Malachi 3, Verses 10 and 11. I bring you all the tithe, 
the whole tenth of my income into the storehouse, that there may be food in your house. And I prove you now, and I know that you are opening the windows of heaven for me and pouring me out a blessing that there is not room enough to receive it. And you, Father God, rebuke the devourer, the insects, and the plagues for my sake. And they shall not destroy, destroy the fruit of my ground. Neither shall my vine drop its fruit before the time in the field. This is the word of the Lord to me. And according to Isaiah 54, verse 7, No weapon that is formed against me can prosper, and every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I shall prove and show to be in the wrong. I have peace, righteousness, security, triumph over all opposition. This is my heritage as yours, child, Lord. I am your child, and I am righteous with you with the, by the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father God, you impart righteousness righteousness to me as my justification by the blood of Jesus. My mind is renewed by your word, Father God. Therefore, I forbid thoughts of failure or defeat to inhabit my mind. According to Ephesians 4.23, I am constantly renewed in the spirit of my mind. I have a fresh mental and spiritual attitude. I am delivered from the power and authority of darkness. I cast down every reasoning and false imagination that would exalt itself against the knowledge of you, Father God. I bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of your word, Father God. According to 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. Though I walk in the flesh, I am not carrying out my warfare according to the flesh. I do not use mere human weapons. For the weapons of my warfare are not physical weapons of flesh and blood. But they are mighty before you, Father God, for the overthrow and the destruction of every stronghold. Inasmuch as I refute arguments and theories and reasoning and every proud and lofty thing that will set itself up against true knowledge of you, Father God, I lead every thought and purpose away captive to the obedience of Christ, my Messiah, the Anointed One. I am filled with your wisdom, Father God. I am led to make wise and prosperous financial decisions. Your Spirit, Father God, guides me into all truth regarding my financial affairs, according to John sixteen thirteen. I thank you, Father God, that the Spirit of truth has come and guides me into all truth, the whole full truth. Your Holy Spirit does not speak his own message on his own authority, but he tells me what he hears from you, Father God. He gives me the message that you give to him. He announces and declares to me things that are to come and that will happen in the future. I thank you, Father God, that you cause my thoughts to be agreeable to your will. And my plans are established and they succeed. According to Proverbs 16, verse 3. I roll my works upon you, Lord. I commit and entrust everything I do wholly to you, Father God. And you cause my thoughts to become agreeable to your will. And so all my plans are established and succeed. There is no lack, for you, Father God, supply all my needs according to your riches 
in glory by Christ Jesus, according to Philippians 4.19. And Father God, you liberally supply and fill to the full my every need according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, you are my shepherd, and I do not want, I do not lack any good thing. Jesus, you came that I might have life and have it more abundantly. According to Psalm 23, 1, O oh Lord, you are my shepherd. You feed, you guide, you shield me, and I have no lack of any good thing. And according to John 10.10, 10, The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy, but Jesus has come that I may have life and enjoy life and have it in abundance, in the full, until it overflows. I have received the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, and I reign as a king in life by Christ Jesus, according to Romans 5.17. I thank you because of one man's trespass, lapse, and offense. Death reigned through that one. Much more surely do I receive your overflowing grace and unmerited favor and free gift of righteousness. And you have put me into right standing with yourself. And I reign as a king in life through Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One. Lord, you have pleasure in my prosperity, and Abraham's blessings are mine. According to Psalm 35, verse 27, I thank you, Father God. You favor my righteous cause. You have pleasure in my uprightness. You shout for joy, and you are glad. And I say continually, O oh Lord, let you be magnified. Be magnified, O oh Lord, because you take pleasure in my prosperity. And in Galatians 3.14, To the end that through receiving Jesus Christ, the blessing promised to Abraham comes to me, so that being through faith, I might receive the realization of, of the promise of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Charles Caps, for these confessions. And I thank you for these 40 things that I am. I am a child of God. According to Romans 8, 16, I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. According to Psalm 107, verse 2, I am forgiven according to Colossians 1, 13 and 14. I am saved by grace through faith, according to Ephesians 2, 8. I am justified, according to Romans 5, 1. I am sanctified, according to 1 Corinthians 6, 11. I am a new creation, according to 2 Corinthians 5, 17. I am a partaker of your divine nature, Father God, according to 2 Peter 1, 4. I am redeemed from the curse of the law, according to Galatians 3, 13. I am delivered from all the powers of darkness, according to Colossians 1, 13. I am led by your Holy Spirit, Father God, according to Romans 8, 14. I am a child of yours, Father God, according to Romans 8, 14. I am kept in safety wherever I go, according to Psalms 91, verse 11. I am getting all my needs met by Jesus Christ, according to Philippians 4, 19. I am casting all of my cares onto Jesus, according to 1 Peter 5, 7. I am strong in you, Father God, and in the power of your might, according to Ephesians 6, 10. 
I am doing all things through Christ who strengthens me. According to Philippians 4.13, I am an heir of God and a an joint heir with Jesus. According to Romans 8.17, I am an heir to all the blessings of Abraham. According to Galatians 3, 13 and 14. I am observing and doing your commandments, Father God. According to Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 and 2. I am blessed coming in and blessed going out. According to Deuteronomy 28, 6. I am an heir of eternal life. According to 1 John 5, 11 and 12. I am blessed with all spiritual blessings, according to Ephesians 1, 3. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus, according to 1 Peter 2, 24. I am ex exercising my authority over the enemy, according to Luke 10, 19. I am above only and not beneath, according to Deuteronomy 28, verse 13. I am more than a conqueror, according to Romans 8, 37. I am an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony, and that I love not my life unto death, according to Revelations 12, 11. I am establishing your word here on the earth, Lord, according to Matthew 16, 19. I am daily overcoming the devil, according to 1 John 4.4. 4. I am not moved by what I see, according to 2 Corinthians 4.18. I am walking by faith and not by sight, according to 2 Corinthians 5.7. I am casting down vain imaginations, according to 2 Corinthians 10.4 and 5. I am bringing every thought into captivity, according to 2 Corinthians 10.5. I am being transformed by the renewing of my mind, according to Romans 12, verses 1 and 2. I am a laborer together with you, Father God, according to 1 Corinthians 3.9. I am the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ according to 2 Corinthians 5, 21. I am an imitator of Jesus, according to Ephesians 5, 1. I am the light of the world, according to Matthew 5, 14. I am blessed, blessing you, Father God, at all times and continually praising you, Father God, with my mouth, according to Psalms 34, verse 1. Praise the Lord. So let it be spoken, so let it be done in my life.